Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, as you can see, there's a pile of clothes right there. Um, I'm going to be doing a Forever 21 haul. Um, as a quick disclaimer, I very rarely shop at Forever 21 for two main reasons. One, they very rarely have stuff I like or stuff that I judge as good enough quality. Two, I really do not like some of their ethical practices such as stealing people's designs or ideas or pretending to be feminists just because, you know, it's kind of fashionable right now. But I'm not going to get into that. So the other day my mom was here and she was looking for a basic black tee. So we went into Forever 21 and I actually ended up seeing a lot of stuff that I surprisingly liked. I didn't stay in the store for like two hours to shop things. I just decided to do it online. So yeah, I'll just show you what I got and maybe you guys will like some of it. All of it was really cheap except for one piece because it wasn't by Forever 21. So anyways, I'll get into it. Um, and I'll put the prices and everything. So the first thing I got was the clear heart choker, which is this thing. So it's just pink, like that, and it has a gold chain, um, and I really liked, uh, I don't know, I really like transparent things, so I thought this would be really cool, especially to put with like an all black outfit as kind of like a contrasting like little girly thing compared to like a goth outfit or something like that. Um, and it was pretty cheap, it was $6.90, so I mean that's pretty, that's pretty good, right? I don't know. Um, next up, uh, I'm gonna, I partially hate myself for this, but I got a flower crown for the simple reason that I have a wig that looks like Lana Del Rey's hair, and I'm obsessed with Lana Del Rey, and this just screams Lana Del Rey, so I'm probably gonna take a picture trying to channel her. So, moving right on. Um, oh, actually the cool thing about this is that the back is, um, bendy and it stays in place it's like a wire so contrary to most of the plastic ones this will probably fit your head a lot better than you know the normal ones you might find um and yeah and it had a bunch of different i think it had two different color options but i really liked how pastel and pretty this one was so yeah next up i got a transparent neon bag for my makeup which is this one and it's pretty space. I mean, like, obviously it's like a travel-y type thing or for just brushes or something. I don't know. But I thought this was pretty cute. And I do like transparent ones just because, like, I need to be able to keep track of what I put in there. I have a black one right now and it's just the worst because you can hardly tell what's in there. And it's super dark and you always have to take everything out. So I thought this was worth it. Um, and also easy to find if you have a bag and it's at the bottom. This is an easy color to spot. Uh, yeah, this one was $7.90 and this had a bunch of colors too. I think there was like yellow, purple, green, a lot of colors. Uh, and I'll be linking everything in the description box. Then I got linked drop earrings. Shit, did I link those in the bag? I'm gonna be so pissed if I did that. I have no idea where those are, so we're gonna just move on. Um, okay, then I got the iridescent makeup brush set. Can you tell I was waiting to do a haul since I didn't open anything? Okay, and they look like this. I thought these were really pretty and they were pretty cheap too. And like, I don't really like investing too much in makeup brushes because I'm not really that good at makeup. So I feel kind of hypocritical doing that. Um, but this one, cost $5.90 which I mean it's pretty good and like these are really pretty and basic honestly so an easy buy <clears throat> then there was the strappy cutout cami top and this one was final sale and it was $18 and it looks like this and it has the cutout details on the side um, has a zip on the back. It's super stretchy. Like as soon as I got it, I could tell that there was a lot of stretch in this, which I really like. 
I honestly rarely buy tops like this because I feel like they're really hard for me to wear because usually I wear crop tops or bodysuits or like right now a big t-shirt. So this is kind of a little bit different for me, but we'll just see what happens. I'm pretty sure I can wear it the same way as a bodysuit anyways. Okay. Then what do we have? Okay, so this is the most expensive thing I got and this one was, ouch, $68 um, because it's from the brand Rehab um, and they have a lot of really cool stuff but it is a lot better quality than Forever 21. So, you know, um, and it is a denim jacket with sequins. So by definition, I kind of expected that to be a little pricier and okay, so it looks like this um, and it has really cool sequin details here goes like pink to like a taupe kind of color um, up to the end of the sleeve like that I thought this looked really cool um, then on the back there's like a small there are a couple small rip details um, and there are some on the neck and above the pockets too so I really really like this and I'd never actually seen a jean jacket with sequin sleeves so I was very into that very mermaidy I even showed Jacob my husband and he the first thing he said is that it looked mermaidy so I mean come on um, okay so I am such a fan of this jacket I left the buttons open because I tend to like bag your hands but even if you do close it it's still pretty big like you can roll it up and everything um another thing that's really cool to note is that the inside is soft so like i was kind of worried that this would like all the sequins were put over jeans so it would have been a little bit difficult to put on but it slid on so easily and the sleeves are so soft like i'm definitely a fan and i just love how these like sequins reflect in the light i think that's really gorgeous um and also the fact that this is kind of like a standout piece like i feel like you could wear a super boring outfit but the fact that there's all of this going on makes it way more interesting so yeah i would definitely recommend this jacket i got it in an ml because it was either sm or ml and like there's still some room there like even if i like buttoned it up so like if you're bigger than like an 810 i think that it can still go um yeah, I really like this. I am a fan. And the last thing I got were high-rise skinny jeans. Um, and the first thing I check with any skinny jeans I get is how much, um, check the cotton and spandex um, percentages just to see how stretchy it's gonna be because if it's not stretchy, I'm not buying it. Um, and these were 990, so. And they're really basic. I don't know why they're covered in glitter. Okay, they're really basic, just like this. Normal skinny jean. I like that it was high rise, as you can see, like from here to here. And they are super stretchy, see? Um, and I mean, it was 990, so I don't really know what I'm expecting out of this because sometimes skinny jeans can sit really awkwardly. So a quick note, um, these jeans are okay. I don't really like how they fit around my thighs. Like I have thicker thighs for sure. I don't really like how they fit there. Like I feel like it's just very tight here. Um, maybe it just needs to be worn in a little bit, which I don't doubt because a lot of jeans need that. Waist wise, it's okay. Like it's pretty stretchy. I just feel like on the legs, it was definitely less stretchy than I expected it to be. Um, so definitely keep that in mind and these might be the type of jeans I'm gonna wear under like big t-shirts because I'm not sure how I like them so far I'm gonna have to test them more, but I'm really impressed with the top. It's super stretchy and Yeah, it goes well under pants um, Probably it'll go better under other jeans than these ones because these are pretty thin, but yeah, I'd recommend both of these Just keep the leg thing in mind
I hope that my inserts of me trying it on was helpful to you guys and I figured I would start doing that just because like I want to try it on and see how it actually is to see whether I'd actually recommend it or not. So I hope that was helpful to you. Um, I decided that my schedule for uploads is going to be Fridays and Mondays. So yeah, I guess from now on you can stay tuned on those particular days and you can turn on notifications, do all that stuff that YouTubers tell you to do. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.